So our next step in disarticulating Z's arm is to work our way through the ligaments of the elbow, because we've already done the, uh, the clavicle's relationship to the scapula, we've done the relationship of the scapula to the humerus, now we're going to do the relationship of the humerus to the ulna and the radius. So let's have a look. Come on down to Z's beautiful bones here. Uh, I'll point out this cute little spur. That's just uh, something going on, just a little specialty feature in case you're wondering like, what that belongs to. Just a little, a little bone spur on the middle of Z's, Z's uh, humerus shaft there. But what we're going to look at here is this amazing elbow joint and its ligaments, right? So we see the action here, kind of a, kind of a bit of a hingy sort of thing going on. And there are collateral ligaments on the elbow, just like there are on the knee. So on the, on the ulnar side, we have the ulnar collateral ligament right here, relating the, the humerus to the ulna. And then over here, we have the relationship of the, the radius to the ulna here. So we'll call that, say, the, the, uh, the collateral ligament, the radial collateral ligament. But there's also this thoroughgoing covering here over the, the, the circular, the sort of wonderful circle of the, of the radius. And we're going to call this then the annular ligament, right? So there's kind of a, a annual, like an annual flower, like it goes all the way around the whole circuit around the sun. Like a year, right, is a trip around the sun. It's an annual. So the annular ligament is doing one trip around the radius here. So we're going to have to cut that as well as the joint capsule. So let me get a scalpel. And we'll start with the uh, ulnar collateral ligament here. And you see how the arm ulna just kind of dropped down when I cut that. So there's your ulnar collateral. And what about our radial, our radial, radial collateral? here, and uh, that, that uh, annular ligament, I'm just going to have to kind of cut through half of it, maybe, half a year, and reveal the, uh, the radial head. See that there? We just kind of popped our annular ligament off of the radial head. You see that? And we still have a lot of material here in the way, so I'm going to cut through the joint capsule just straight across. And we're inside the elbow. Now, that's a pretty bony place. Let's get the back side of the, of the capsule and the annular ligament. And if we flip the arm, we can see we have our ulna uh, still wrapped into the joint capsule right here. So we'll cut that apart. And uh, there we go. So we have our very interesting and beautiful elbow joint. Look at how complicated the, the shape of the ulna is, particularly, right? I mean, the radial head is so gorgeous. It's like this little, this little dimple fossa here, and it's incredibly circular shape. And then the the olecranon process, right? It's very much of a process, right? It's really sticking out in the wind here, at the top of the ulna, right? And that's this is where we're gonna we're gonna articulate here. Right with the condyle. Look at the way that. Fit. Oh my gosh! Look at that fit, huh? What could be more perfect? It's a, it feels incredible. Just the smoothness of it. Just an incredibly beautiful joint. Right. So it'll take me a little bit. I'll clean up all this material here off camera. But uh, oh well. I guess we could. Should we keep going? Should we do this? Yeah. What the heck? While we're here, <laughs> it's kind of. You wouldn't, really have an, you wouldn't really have an elbow joint if you didn't have a proximal radio ulnar joint, right? Because if these guys weren't sort of held together, 
and this radius would be floating out in the wind a little bit. So I'm going to cut the radial ulnar ligament here and expose and open the radial ulnar joint as well. So look at that joint surface. You see that? Whoa, it's so smooth. I get my thumb in there perfectly, and that's where this radial head has been spinning for Z's whole life. My gosh, look at that, look at that beautiful one. I'll do the, let me do some, pro, some pronation and some supination, and you can see the beautiful mm. relationship of the ulna and the radius here at the proximal radial ulnar joint. That is gorgeous. What a fit. What an incredible, beautiful fit. And then when we bring those two together, then we form the proximal side or end of the elbow joint here, mm. right? And so you can't, you can't really have an elbow joint without having your radius and ulna having their own joint because the radial head doesn't just spin uh, on, the, on the humerus, which it does. Watch it spin. Watch when I do pronation. It's spinning on the humerus, but it's also spinning on the ulna, right? Who knew, right? What a gorgeous, gorgeous uh, setup. Gorgeous design, and this is a beautiful elbow of our, our friend and donor Z. Thanks, Z. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to study more with me, go to gilheadley.com. There's a ton of stuff there. Enjoy.